Welcome back to the channel. I know there's probably a lot of people watching for the very first time here due to um, the, the thumbnail and the name of this video. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of Kyle Larson fans out there, and when somebody gets compared to Kyle Larson, uh, people definitely are going to take interest. Now, we're talking about Corey Day today, and if you don't know who that is, you, I mean, there's probably a good chance that you don't, uh, but he is one of the rising up-and-coming drivers in the dirt racing world and sprint car racing right now. And Kyle Larson himself has said on a couple of interviews that he believes Corey Day is the next him. He thinks he is the next Kyle Larson. And so right now, Corey Day, very young driver racing full-time with High Limit Racing, and he already has three wins with High Limit this year, and we've only ran 10 races. He is right now the winningest driver with that series. Corey Day, right now, as I mentioned, 18 years old, and I wanted to do an interesting video here and look at what Kyle Larson, when he was 18 and before, from you know, 18, 17, 16, whatever, what he had accomplished up until when he was 18 and what Corey Day has accomplished so far uh, now that he is an 18-year-old right now. So we're looking at the times from July 31st of 2012 and before for Kyle Larson uh, because he was born on July 31st, 1992. And we're going to, you know, obviously looking at just when he was 18, not when he turned 19, just to, you know, make it nice and even, right? Corey Day, he turns 19 on November 28th or 25th of 2024. So uh, here's what we got right now for Kyle Larson and Corey Day. So when Kyle Larson was 18 years old, here are some of the races that he has won or some of the things that he did as a young driver. So the first big one was the 2011 Gold Cup win with the World of Outlaws. And he did that in his just his 17th attempt against the Outlaws. So if you don't know, World of Outlaws, basically the NASCAR of dirt racing. At the time, it was the only major dirt sprint car racing series that traveled all the way across the country. And Kyle Larson beat the best drivers that night in 2011. It was an absolutely monumental win. So he did that in 2011. Also 2011, he was able to sweep the four crown nationals for USAC at Eldora Speedway, meaning he won in both the, or in all the midget, a non-wing sprint car, and a silver crown car all in the same night. He swept all three of those. And that has not been done until just this last year that happened when Logan Seavey did it. So Kyle Larson and that before that, so there only been three guys that had ever done it, right? Larson, Seavey, and Jack Hewitt. And so Kyle Larson did that before, when he was 18 years old in 2011. In 2011, or sorry, in 2012, you know, July 31st, 19, or J July 31st, 2012, uh, excuse me, he had seven total NARC King of the West Sprint Car wins, and he was the 2010 champion of that series. So if you don't know what NARC is, that is a touring sprint car series of 410 engines that runs primarily on the West Coast. So Kyle Larson, at this point in time, in the time period we're looking at, he had seven wins and a championship already. He had six USAC National Midget wins in this time period. He also had two USAC non-wing sprint car wins and two USAC Silver Crown victories to his credit. He had three Power Eye Midget wins, which is the secondary midget series to USAC. 2011, he was able to win the Trophy Cup A Main on the finale, right? He did not win the overall Trophy, trophy Cup points, but he won the final race of the weekend there. So basically, how Trophy Cup works is... The very last race, the whole field is inverted, and the guy that's highest in points starts dead last. He tries to make his way forward. Kyle Larson won that feature, but he did not win the overall championship with Trophy Cup. And the reason I'm going into in-depth about this is we're going to talk about that with Corey Day here in just a moment. Uh, he was also a winner with the ASCS National Tour, which basically is the World of Outlaws with 360 engines under the hood. At that point in time, th that series was traveling all over the country just like the Outlaws. He also had two All-Star Circuit of Champions wins. Uh, those actually were back-to-back -back victories during Ohio Sprint Speed Week, the biggest week of the year for, you know, this series is now not around anymore, the All-Star Circuit of Champions. That was the secondary series to the World of Outlaws, a good feeder series to get into that national touring uh, rank, right? Uh, also, at this point in time, he was a Canaan Pro Series winner. I don't know if it was the E Series or the West Series. I'm going to say it was with the E Series. So a Canaan Pro Series winner as well before he turned 19 years old. So let's look at what Corey Day has done, right? This kid's 18 right now, and he is lighting the world on fire. So biggest win of his career probably, 2023, just last year, he won the Gold Cup Race of Champions at Silver Dollar Speedway in Chico, California, against the World of Outlaws. It was his first World of Outlaws win in 24 attempts. So it took seven more attempts for Corey Day 
to get a win against the Outlaws compared to Kyle Larson. He was the 2023 Trophy Cup overall champion. So we talked about Larson winning it, but that was the feature, right? That's not what pays the big money at the Trophy Cup. The overall championship is what pays the big money. And Corey Day was able to do that last year. 2024, this just now, this year, in 2024, he was able to win a prelim night at the Chili Bowl Nationals. So everyone knows what the Chili Bowl is. Even if you're a NASCAR fan watching, you know what the Chili Bowl is. The biggest midget race of the year on dirt. And Corey Day won that race with an engine that was like 17 years old, uh, almost older than him, right? So he's already a Chili Bowl prelim night winner. That is something that was not on Kyle Larson's resume when he was 18 years old. Also, at this time right now, Corey Day has 15 total NARC King of the West wins, and he was the 2023 champion. So that is eight more wins than Kyle Larson had. Now, Larson, obviously, he was traveling more and going out in the Midwest more than Corey Day was, but 15 wins, he only ran NARC for three years. Uh, so Corey Day, uh, way, way good numbers in that department. He was a 2021 USAC Midget winner during Indiana Midget Week. If you don't know what Midget Week is, it's about six or seven races all in a row, seven nights in a row. And Corey Day, just his fourth time behind the wheel of a midget, went out and won during the, probably the second hardest week of midgets all year long. Obviously, Chili Bowl being number one, Indiana Midget Week number two. And he was at that time in 2021, so three years ago, he was like 16 years old, and he was able to get a win in his fourth race in a midget. Uh, he also won the Tulsa Shootout, which is basically the week before the Chili Bowl. He won it in a restricted A-class car in a micro sprint. So when he was way, way younger than 16, probably about 12 or so. But still, that's a pretty big accomplishment in and of itself. He was also 12th at the 2023 Knoxville Nationals in his second attempt. So when Kyle Larson was 18 at, on July 31st or whatever it was of uh, 2012, he had not ran the Knoxville Nationals yet. He did run it when he was 19, but he hadn't even tried to run it when he was 18. Corey Days already ran the Nationals twice, and he made the feature the second time, and he finished in the 12th position. The Knoxville Nationals is the biggest race in sprint car racing all year round. It is the granddaddy of them all. It is the one that every driver wants to win if they're a sprint car driver. Uh, he also, as we mentioned at the top of this video, he already has three high limit racing wins in 2024, the winningest driver with the series. And two of those wins were worth $20,000. So in, and they came within a week of each other. One was on a Tuesday, and then a week later on Tuesday, he won another one. So Corey Day, and he had some races in between there, so nearly $50,000 in one week. Um, he was second at the 2023 Turkey Night Grand Prix. He did finish behind Kyle Larson in that race. And at this point in time, Corey Day really does not still have that much midget experience. But to be second place at the Turkey Night Grand Prix, one of the biggest midget races of the year. Uh, pretty darn impressive, if you ask me. Also, he won three Sprint Car Challenge Tour races in his career so far. The Sprint Car Challenge Tour is a 360 division. The race is primarily in California and does a little bit of traveling up and down the West Coast, right? So you look at these numbers, and Corey Day has done some very, very impressive things already in his career. And if you're not familiar, he drives for Jason Myers, who is a former World of Outlaws champion, and if you think about it, there's only 10 outlaw champions in the entire history of that series. And his car owner is one of them, right? So he's got good guys behind him. He's got good cars. This kid is the real deal. Definite pole time. And I mentioned generational talent. Obviously, Kyle Larson is a generational talent. In my opinion, Christopher Bell is also a generational talent. Unfortunately, we don't get to see him on the dirt very much anymore. So uh, Corey Day, I guess he is the next generational talent. To me, it seems like he is. Young driver, already winning in multiple different cars. And now him and Kyle Larson, it's hard to compare the two of them because in 2012 and 2011, Kyle Larson was already in the Midwest doing things with Keith Coons Motorsports. He was running pavement stuff. He was already doing all kinds of different things. So it's a little bit different, hard to compare, but it's still fun to look at the things these two guys have already done when they were 18 years old, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little comparison video. Hit that subscribe button downstairs if you like, downstairs, down below. Um, if you want to see more content like this, we do this kind of stuff all the time. Hit the like button, comment down below. Do you think Corey Day is the next Kyle Larson? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.